Okay, welcome to the hydroponic side where also we call the fodder crops for yes. the poultry as well as the bees and also even the cows. Yes. Here we are using the barley yes. whereby we call the barley. Yes. And uh, the first thing is to soak them the barley uh, in water. So it, use, it starts yeah. here. So this one mm -hmm. we soak in water. Mm -hmm. Then after soaking, we train the water. So I'll show you how we train the water off. So like this one. Mm -hmm. So we have this one, this packet have some holes. Yes. Yeah, to allow the water to go out. And then I now bring my soaked barley. Mm -hmm. For the barley, you can uh, make sure it is soaked for at least three to four hours. Yeah. And then after soaking, mm -hmm. you train the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So So after soaking we change the water. Mm -hmm. We allow the water to seep out. Yes. And then we remain with this one. Mm -hmm. So why do we this uh, do this? Changing water means we are allowing them to sprout. So the one which we changed the water yesterday uh, we are going inside to you. Let me show you. You can come in. So this one now it will be ready for today. Yes. Whereby you can see there's some ice, the white stuff. Yes. Whereby they start yeah. to roots. So these are the small roots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whereby it turns white, you can see. Yes. Yeah. So after training the water, you allow it to start shooting. Mm -hmm. And then when it shoots, mm -hmm. we now put them in trays. And uh, soaking, mm -hmm. can, uh, to, as I have told you earlier, that uh, it can, uh, you can do, you can soak them for two to four hours. And then after four hours, you mm -hmm. train the water. Mm -hmm. And then you allow it to settle for at least 24 hours and then after 24 hours you now bring them and you bring uh, them into the trays to the trays you need yeah and then for the trays mm -hmm. it will take you uh seven to eight days okay. so after so this one was uh for day one that okay. is yesterday yes so within on the eighth day mm -hmm. we are going to harvest something like this okay so you can see so with that in each day we are using one kg yes but uh, after eight days, mm -hmm. we have seven to mm. eight kilos okay. of the barley. Yes. So that one is one kilo. But so later so on, each each tray has a, a kilo one, of a barley. Kilo, a kilo of barley. Yeah. Okay. How many times do you water it a day? Three times a day. Three times a day. Yeah. And it drains from the front because yeah. the, I can see the trays are slanting. Yeah, the trays <coughs> are slanting because uh, when we water them, mm -hmm. the water goes from the first one mm -hmm. to the second one. Take for example this one. Mm -hmm. So after watering like this, mm -hmm. uh, the water comes to the next one. Yes. And then the next one to the third one. Yes. And then the third one to the thin or to pipe, the which is also a channel yes. to the garden. Nice. Yeah. So, so the water eventually is recycled. It's used in yeah, the garden. It's used. Okay. Yeah. What is and more important I must is that say the, the water is pressurized from a, a small pump. Yeah. Right there. And uh, from the a also, tank right behind, and that tank gets its water from uh, uh, the, the 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 roof, from the gutters. You collect, the, you harvest the water, the rainwater, into the tank. You have a solar uh, to power this uh, pump. Then and, uh, you use that to irrigate or to water the uh, the trays. Yeah, and uh, this pump only is run by a small battery. Oh, this is okay. not uh, something expensive. We have yes. a battery there. I'll okay. show you. Okay. And then, uh, so for this one, after watering, mm -hmm. you see that how, how the water trains. This yes. one has holes on yes. the side. Mm -hmm. So it drains this second one. Then the second one goes to the third one and to the like. Okay. And then later on, we yes. shall have the water Running which seeps the from the, uh, from the, uh, through this scattering site okay. and then goes to the farm. So there is no waste. So later on, you are using it to water the crops. Oh, there's yeah. a there's another farm behind the yeah the we have the fruit hydroponics forest. unit yeah okay so, so this is yesterday yeah from this side yeah and then this uh, two this days one, 
two days. Uh, yeah, yeah, it has, uh, yeah. has some shoots. Yeah, okay. three days. So this is uh, day three. Day three. Okay. Yeah. And then from this one, day five. This is uh, day five because yeah, the, yeah. This, this is different there. Yeah. Okay. This are uh, orange the level. Okay. You can see this one and this one, this turning green. Yes. So from this one, this one, mm -hmm. and uh, this one at the top. Then you move to these ones. Uh, then this one is six. We normally do ten trees a day. Okay. Yeah. And then also goes to that one. Yes. This is the this one and uh yeah that one and this one that is okay. day eight uh -huh. and uh, day seven yes. and then this one day eight. Okay. So the eight will have something like this. This like a carpet. Yeah. And uh, the most important thing is that when you grow like this, mm -hmm. you are adding value to your seeds. Here you mm -hmm. have the cream part, which is also very rich in nutrients, mm -hmm. that is a vitamin for the plant, uh, for the animals, mm -hmm. as well as also they absorb the nu uh, the nutrients, the mineral salts mm -hmm. from the water you use for watering. At the same time, you will also have the same carbohydrates, especially from the seeds. So you are adding value to your fodder. And with this one, this mm -hmm. one are uh, uh, seven to eight kilos. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, from how many one, kilos? One kilo. From one kilo, you get seven to eight kilos. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then when you go uh, for this one, we bought uh, one kg for twenty-five shillings. Mm -hmm. So if you measure that one kg twenty-five shillings, and then even though now it is fifty kg per kilo, mm -hmm. and then you get seven. So you'll be feeding your animal at a rate of almost seven shillings. Okay. Yeah. So which animals do you feed? Do, do you feed, we feed the, the hydroponics? Yes. For example, this one alone can feed up to three to four weeks. One. Okay. Yeah. And uh, they are very, uh, they'll be, especially once feeding. So for the bigs, we feed them in the morning mm -hmm. and then also in the evening. And this one, you feed it even to your cows, the rabbits, and any other dairy, uh, let's say, animals you keep in your system. Chicken, daily goats, dopa sheep, yeah. all of them can feed from this. Yeah, can feed from this. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you are adding only value yes. with the products you have. And okay. then after adding value, yes. you'll have plenty to keep. So that is the reason why we are doing, uh, doing this hydroponic system. Okay. So 10 trays daily? Yeah, then That's trays. about uh, 10, 10 kilos. And that is about 80, 70 to 80 kilos of feed yeah. or fodder yeah. from this unit. Yeah. How big is this, this unit, this house? Okay, it is uh, 15 by 6 feet. So the shed is 15 foot? It is 6 feet. Or oh, 6 foot by, by, 15. by 15 foot. Yeah. And then you have uh, the grain storage at uh, the back. Yeah, okay, we have a uh, different system also. Okay. Yeah. So with this one is for the hydroponic site. Yes. So, and then after setting up this hydroponic site, we have also other products which we produce there. Okay. These are wide variety of products. Of products. So that is why that in is, the Richard farm. That is perma, permaculture. Yeah.